Hello, everybody. John Anderson Pierre, the beer rambling gambling outside on this beautiful day here in Mobile, Alabama. 62 degree day. So my little dartboard outside. Looking at Bohemia Classica. 4.7 ABV by volume. Um, it is a adjunct lager or American adjunct lager, but it's made in Mexico. Uh, the brewery, uh, forgive me if I'm going to butcher this name. Uh, it is out of the, um, oh, damn. It's imported by Chavez, Mexican White Plains, New York. Um, but the brewery is made in Mexico. Cuatahuma, uh, Matezu, Chavez, Cuatahuma, Matezuma. Chavez, again, folks, I'm butchering the name, forgive me. Uh, the same company that puts out Takata and Sol and Carta Blanca and, um, yeah, so, and Do Dos Equis. So, 4.7 ABV by volume. Um, it's under the Heineken International. Uh, of course, um, brewery is known worldwide as a very popular beer in Mexico. As you can see, I'm about to open it up. I don't have my card number, but I'll do it the old-fashioned way. And now I just did it the old-fashioned way. So, forgive me. Anyhow. Gets an okay score on Beer Advocate. The bros didn't score it. So. As you can see, a very windy day here. Yeah, my cigar just went out. Fuck it. Anyhow. I'm enjoying the cigar. Anyhow. Uh, 4.7 ABV. Um, standard lager look, as you can see right here. Again, forgive me, everyone, if you're watching in Mexico, anywhere. I butchered the name. Didn't mean to, but, you know, oh well. So, take a whiff. Standard lager smell, standard look, scent, rice, corn, 4.7, but I had this in the fridge for, uh, since yesterday. I was going to review it, so. so here it is. Hmm. Pretty good. Very good. Doesn't taste like your standard adjunct lager like Bud or PBR, or, you know, Milwaukee's best, but hmm. I like the color of the beer. A little darker than some of the other adjunct lagers than Bud, but uh, looks pretty decent to me. Very good, very dark, a dark yellow color, as you can see. Um Again, the brewery, um, Monterey, Nuevo Leon, Mexico, where the uh, brewery is located um, in Mexico. Um, again, pretty good score on Beer Advocate. As you can see, as I mentioned, the location established in 1905. Some of the gold lettering you can see is pretty much in Spanish, but... Um, but it's imported by the location up in White Plains, New York. But Mastero Cerveco, Cerveco. So I uh, saw this at uh, where I saw this. I saw this at Rouse's. Mobile paid a dollar sixty nine for it for the singles of this beer here. So so I'm standing outside. Beautiful day. I just came back from the Senior Bowl. Beautiful day there. I was. Uh, Singing out with uh, my um, my wife's cousin, and uh, we were just uh, we were doing some tailgating. Ate, drank, ate, drank, you know. So, and uh, had a good time. And uh, now I'm um, said, let me go do this review. And it's probably my last review of the day. I'm I'm about pretty much beat. I got to get up early in the morning, head to work. But do what you got, do what I got to do, people. Um. I don't know. The taste here is so 
sorry. The taste has a little bit of a, not much, but a little, I don't want to say smokiness to it, but it's a little, somewhat a bit fruity. Not not overly fruity, but just a tad bit. A little citrus in the end of that beer, but, you know, it's okay. Not overwhelming, but... Hmm. I don't know what the flavor is I'm, I'm, I'm tasting right now, but it's just... Hmm. It's a nice little crisp finish to it. Quite refreshing. 4.7. And, and I've said this before, as those who've seen a lot of my videos already and other videos, it's like these foreign beers, overseas beers, imported beers, Mexico... Euro lagers, ABV may be a little bit small, but you're really getting a lot of good flavor out of this beer. Like you feel like you're really drinking a lot more ABV into this. And forgive me, I keep saying ABV by volume. I meant ABV. The people you watch, you know what I'm talking about. ABV. <clears throat> Carbonated this beer is. Um, Bohemia, 1980, 1905. Uh, the brewery still a very popular. I would say of the of the beers that that brewery puts out. Uh, I think right now here in the states, I would say Dos Equis is probably the most popular of their of their line. Um, all of them are pretty good. Soul is pretty good. Takata is pretty good. Takata is pretty of a more pop as as is I would say more popular here, but. For your price and the bang for the buck, you probably could go with um, Takata. I, I think that that's pretty, by price, I think you're pretty getting a pretty good deal. I know a four-pack at the local store that I saw, I think it was like four-pack of 16-ounce cans. We're going for, I think, four twenty-seven. For For imported for four-pack, that's quite good. Um, that was one store that I saw it at, but... Other places, you know, could be more. Um, with your maybe most of these lagers style, you know, barbecue, Asian cuisine. Um, you know, I just was nibbling on a sandwich a while ago, and I just like I said, I just had coming from there, I just had some ribs and some pork and beans. Um, that was pretty good to go with that, uh, with this beer. This has a really nice finish to it, man. I really, really like this. A little sip beer. Oh, boy. Um, so it's sort of the calm before the storm for me. But, um, yeah, I would say those are the kind of the beers you can style to compare this beer with. The foods you compare this beer with. Um, 4.7 is just pretty good. Um... You know, um, Bohemia is known, you know, also is popular in Mexico. All these beers I mentioned, Corona even, and even uh, uh, Pacifico, which is under, I think, another brewery, or maybe it might be the same, I'm not sure. That's another popular. And, and I've noticed a lot of those beers have been really sprucing up a lot here in, in my area, here in Mobile, Alabama. And uh, it's, you know, I think it's kind of good. That they are because um, you know we, we all need to experiment once in a while and try something different and something that that's a little unique and different you know from time to time so um, yeah this is quite good man it's really good you know I, I know uh, maybe one bar sells it I know um, that is Lodot Beer Garden, downtown Mobile. Props to you guys. I love your food. I love your burgers. And I've had some of your beers, too, on tap. And, you know, hey. So. Um, the lacing's pretty much about gone right now. But um, 
yeah, I mean, you can bring this beer to a party, uh, to a cookout. Um, I'm sure that it, it would be welcomed with open arms. You know, it's like, what is this exotic beer? You know, wow, this is amazing. What is this? You know, <laughs> um, you know, my area here, Poppy Butte is just being just swilling trash. So, who knows? So I'm just I'm probably gonna head over there and see what the how they're going got going on. Um, I love this beer, folks. This is an excellent, excellent beer, without a doubt. I'm gonna give this beer about a solid uh, nine for this one for the style. I'm gonna enjoy sipping this for a little bit. I say it's the it's not the world's greatest beer, folks, but it's it's good, really, really good. So. Uh, tell me your thoughts and your comments on this beer. If you had Bohemia Classica, and what's your thoughts on this beer? And um, this is my uh, first time having this. I remember when I was in Mexico on a cruise ship, I had uh, Pacifico and I had Takata and I had something else as well. Uh, but I don't recall ever having this beer. So this is my first time having this, and I, I'm really enjoying this. I think I might get another bottle of this one day again. You know, $1.69 is pretty good. Um, I didn't see it in a six-pack of this, but I only saw it individually. But it, I'm sure they have it in a, six, in a sixer of this. So <clears throat> so tell me your thoughts, folks, on the, on this beer. If you like it, what you think of it, I will go on. Johnny Superior, the Beer TV Ramble, tell you to keep watching. As always, cheers.